What's going on the blues man of MLM coming at you in today's video we're going to be going over Social Metrics Pro a plugin created by Daniel Tan and his SEO team now if you guys don't know who Daniel Tan is he's the dude that uh, created the SEO presser uh, it's basically an on page on post um, uh, SEO checker yeah, it's awesome I use it every day I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to show you guys what it is exactly uh, so a lot of you guys gonna know who, you know, what it is and what it what it does. If you haven't uh, checked that out, then go check it out definitely. Um, but let's go over the Social Metrics Pro, and this is an awesome plug. And I'm really I'm gonna really quick tell you a quick story. Um, it was about a couple of weeks ago. I uh, was restructuring my blog and I changed the permalinks and I also changed some categories. So I kind of lost all my social scores on my likes and tweets it was just gone like if you go to my blog uh, I'll just take one one post for example here and you could see here like I got my little sidebar everything's gone I, I had a lot of tweets I had like 123 tweets here uh, I had like over 40 Facebook likes all that works gone I mean I don't know if it's still there I don't know if you know Google or, or, or any of the search engines and the social indicators if it's still sticking out somehow but it's not showing up on my blog I lost all of it so uh, that I can't tell you if it's totally gone forever or not but it doesn't show up so I was like alright no biggie you know I, I put a lot of work into it um, and I'm gonna get into later exactly why this is important not just because of viral uh, social buzz but for SEO purposes and I'll get into that in a second that's why this plugin's really cool but anyway uh, long story short, I was like, damn, I need to find a plugin now to actually see, you know, what I need to work on and, you know, what posts I really want to have some social social uh, indicators going and stuff like that. So, and my buddy of mine showed me this plugin. Actually, no, excuse me, I got an email and uh, went straight to the uh, sales page and bought it. So, um, awesome, awesome plugin. So, let's go over it, exactly what it does. So, Social Message Pro, what basically it does is it, it's just a social media score. It just te it just scores your social, your socialness. Just made up that word, but, you know, your socialness. It just, it scores it. So, you can see exactly, and it scores it in the big six social media sites like Twitter, Facebook, um, Google+, Plus, definitely, StumbleUpon, Dig, and LinkedIn and uh, very powerful social media sites so it kinda scores you and shows you exactly how many likes and tweets and and uh, and, and Google Plus shares you got stumble upon shares and everything so you can actually see you know what you need to work on what's what's getting you know what's getting some some um, some good traffic you know what's creating some social buzz you can see what which posts are creating some uh, you know buzz that you don't even realize because of course like if you have like something like this like this is great. I mean, I love this so people could share and stuff like that. And I tend to not put too much stuff on it. Like here, I got my tweet and like up here, and I got here a box. But on the bottom, I don't have that much stuff like a lot of people do. I just think it slows down. It slows down the um, what you might call it, uh, the site. So I like to have my site running fast. So I don't like to install a lot of plugins. But the problem is, yeah, I could see all my stuff here, and I could add. You know, I got my Google Plus, I got my Facebook, my Stumble Upon, and LinkedIn. But the big problem is I'm not going to sit here and go through all my posts and check it every day. That'd be ridiculous. So I was looking for something that's going to show me in a really quick view uh, what I need to work on, how you know where I need to work on, what I need to do. And now you could see I I don't here you could see how it tells it like real quick Twitter, you know here's the the review I just did on Social Metrics Pro, and our, you know I already got six uh, Twitter or tweets, one Facebook like, so I'm testing it, testing it. And you can see it, it works, but you can see all the rest. I got here zero. So what happened was, as I changed my permalinks, everything disappeared. So guys, uh, before you uh, change any kind of permalinks, uh, and you really want to keep your your scores, then I recommend don't do it. Like I said, I'm not. I can't tell you 100% if they're somewhere, you know, indicated by Google or Facebook, uh, you know, because I have 301 redirects. So it, you know, those old posts just get redirected to the new posts. But still, it's not showing up, and it's not showing up here on Social Metrics Pro, and it's not showing up on um, on these tabs, of course. So I guess they're gone. But that's all right. I got a little, I got a lot of work to do, <laughs> and that's okay. But it's cool. So I could sh I could actually see exactly what I need to do. So you got my tweets, my Facebook likes, and what's cool is, guys, I was checking this out, and and like I said, everything was deleted. So here I got one post, um, Backlinks Kingdom review. It's a uh, review on. Um, backlinks free backlinking tool 
and I already got a couple of stumble upons, and I didn't do any of this. So you, you could see, oh, what's what posts are, are already making some, you know, a little bit, little bit of buzz, All right? That was pretty cool. Um, like here, five. I got five uh, Google Pluses on that, and I didn't even really promote it. So people are coming to my site already, and I installed this yesterday, or two days ago, excuse me. So that's pretty neat. Okay. Um, let's just go over exactly the functions. Pretty easy. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure all this out. All you have here is you could show you could show your posts, you could show your pages as well. I would like to have a feature of your home page because I, I think that's important. Like if you go to my home page, I like to know. I mean, it's not really that bad because uh, big deal because I got this here. So if I go to my home page, it shows me anyway here, which is pretty cool if, if they added that feature in. Um, maybe they do, I just haven't figured it out yet, but um, as you can see, right here I got my homepage, it's not a big, not a biggie, but it'd be a cool feature, but anyway, you could, you could show your posts, you could show your pages, uh, I could filter by category, any of my categories, and I could filter by the date, and what's really cool is, is um, you could export it in an XLS or a CSV uh, file. Now, I already did that, but I'm going to show you what what it does when I do that. So I'm going to export it real quick, and it's going to little box is going to pop up, a little uh, little window, and it's cool. It just tells you exactly how many you know megabytes of memory it took uh, to generate the report. So it's really fast, and it doesn't slow your uh, computer down because it works silently. So all I have to do is just come back and refresh it, and bam, everything's done. So that's it it works silently really it says it is actually on their um, sales page here uh, this free version of the plugin gathers data from different social networks each time you open it so here it says this makes inherently slow like free versions of this plugin okay um, unlike the free version social metrics pro gathers data entirely different way all the data is gathered silently in the background. The data is always ready when you want it. And I actually tested it. I wish I would have had it on video. I refreshed it, and this post came up. So it it, it works until you. Ref it, it's gonna refresh it. So so what's what? Uh, it's gonna work silently. I mean, so that means let's say I get a couple of likes, and I wait, you know, like a day, and tomorrow I refresh it. Those likes will show up already. And what's really cool is I I have that little pop up, and I downloaded this CSV file, and this is pretty neat. This is what what it shows. So I have here my post ID, um, my all my tweets and likes and, and the URL. So I could give this to my outsourcer. You know, if you go to like odes.com and say, hey, you know, I need to get some, I need to get some tweets and, and Facebook likes and Google pluses or whatever. So you could actually you have here you give it to your outsourcer and he could get that done or you could get it done as well and sit here and mess with it. All right. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Awesome feature. I'm gonna close that. All right. So, um, and that's basically that's basically it. And and you may ask yourself, well, what, do I really need this plug? And I'm gonna say, well, if you're now listen to the words that come out of my mouth, and this is very important. If you're an SEO dude or a gal, okay, and and you you own a website and you're, you know, you're looking. And there's two there's two reasons to have this plugin, okay? One reason is because you know to see where your social buzzes. You can see you know what what's getting what's getting some social attention, and that actually gives you an idea of you know what's popular, what's kicking some butt, okay? Of course, this is, a, this is only a couple of days old, so I have to give it some time to check it. But um, but we all know getting some like something to go really viral uh, is pretty pretty hard, pretty difficult. So I actually really would use this for SEO purposes, and you think, well, you know, Blues Moon, you know, what does social media have to do with SEO and getting on the first page of Google? Well, read my, you could click the link below if you're on YouTube and read my article, and basically I'm telling you, it's social indicators play a big role, uh, like Google Plus and, and Facebook likes and stuff like that plays a big role now in your SEO. It's, it's not just on-page SEO and off-page SEO, it's also your social media, it's your indicators, your social indicators, and that's playing a huge role, and you need that as well. So you need to add that to your strategy of uh, um, SEO. Okay, very important. Um, like, I, if you could see, I'll show you real quick the post I wrote. You should be on. You're probably either on the blog now, watching the video, or uh, or you're on YouTube. 
and just click the link below and it'll take you straight there. Now, I did a quick uh, screencast. Now, check this out. My internet's slow as hell right now. You can see now it plays big factors. Now, if you, if you log into Google Chrome, look what happens. I have personal results, okay? So that's that's a uh, that's a biggie here, and even in Bing, Bing just got better with your Facebook friends. So it's actually, you know, that's that's playing a big role right now, and in the years to come, it's going to be even bigger. So, guys, telling you, you need you need this plugin uh, if you're if you're concentrating on your SEO, if you want to make sure your posts are, you know, you got enough got enough buzz going on. It's very important. It's just adding fuel to the fire of your SEO uh, tactics, and it's definitely definitely. Uh, a plugin you need uh, in combination with SEO Presser, it's awesome. So uh, I'm really happy about it. I haven't found anything right now currently um, that sucks about the plugin. Like I said, the only feature that I probably would like is maybe show your home page. Again, that's not a real big deal. And I could even go to settings here. That's something else you could change. I haven't really messed with it. Um, it's got like a debug mode. Like I'm not a techie dude, so you don't, you can't even ask. I could display a number of posts at a, at a time. I put five thousand. Display share counts. Uh, you know, display an admin dashboard. So that means if I go to my dashboard here, it'll show up. You know, I'll just show you a quick quick review. And that's basically it. So, um, on this plugin. Guys, so it's, it's a really cool plugin. I definitely recommend it. Hey, and it's 27 bucks right now. I'm sure it's going to go up uh, probably later on, but it's $27 for a single site and $47 for if you own multiple domains. So it's, it's really a bargain. And if you're really serious about your SEO and your social media buzz and wanting to know what's getting some, some traffic and what you need to work on, then this is definitely a plugin you guys need to get. All right, so I really hope you enjoyed this uh, quick review of Social Metrics Pro. Good job, Daniel Tan. Awesome. I, I think it's a great plugin. Um, and looking forward for updates and more features because I think I've read something that even more, um, they're going to even add more stuff to it. So this is the Blues Man signing off. I'll see you guys in the next vid.